I want you to think on these things. Some of you have thoughts, but they're not a good report. It's got to be deleted. Let's go back to the slide. Thoughts combined with action leads us to what? Conquest. See, every thought, that thought has got to be combined with an action. Say with me, my thoughts, my thoughts. are things. They become, things they become things when I act. When I act. Amen. <laughs> now I like this one. 31, everyone read. Like attracts like. like attracts like. See, it's only when you become like the thing you want that you will attract the thing you want. Say with me, when, only when I become the thing, I want, the thing I want, I attract it in my life. I attract it in my life. Because, like because like attracts like. Let's move on. The beginning. John 1.1. 1, 1. <laughs> now that we understand that thoughts are things, in the beginning was the what? Word. And the word was what? Yeah. And the word was what? In the beginning was thought. The thought was with God. And the thought was God. In the beginning was intention. And the intention was with God. And the intention was God. Jesus was the intention of God made flesh. Let's go to the next slide to make sure I'm not jumping ahead. Okay, good. Made by the word. You are a word from God. Say with me, I am a word from God. Can I tell you that what God did in the beginning of time, you've got to understand that before you came to the earth, you were already one with the Father. That's why the Bible, remember the, um, the scripture says, um, you know, being made reconciled, or we got to be made reconciled. You are not made reconciled, amen, or you're not reconciled unless you are, have already been married. When you came to earth, there was a break in the relationship. Say with me, when I came to earth, there was a break in the relationship. So you were born into sin, you were shaped in iniquity, but originally you were righteous. You were originally one in God. When did I begin? You began when he began. Because in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. You were not an afterthought. You were there from the beginning. He said, even before I formed you, I knew you. So you were already known when you were without form as he is. Now, can I tell you that when you came to earth, you were an, an intention of God. In other words, I would like to look at it this way. Picture me right now that if I am God... And I decide that I says, I want myself, my image and likeness in the earth. So I pull from myself and say, Adam, be. And that form is called Adam. I notice man is lonely. So I begin to show him how I create 
I create in darkness so Adam falls to sleep. And out of his rib inside, I began to take woman and put part of me as woman or female and throw it into Eve and said, me be Eve. And then turn around and confuse you. in Genesis 5 and 2 and let you know that they both had one name. Give me Genesis 5 and 2. Because some folks won't believe that, I, that, that this is in the scripture. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name. So Adam was God both male and female. Let's go back to the slide. So then he continues to send part of his intention to earth. Every time a child is born, that's an intention of God. Every time a baby cries, that's an intention of God. Every time someone begins to give birth, that's an intention of God. When a person commits abortion, they are aborting the intention of God. <laughs> you are a word from God. Why did I come to Zoe? Because you had to find the other words that was located so that you could fit in this sentence. Touch the person next to you and say, are you helping me make up the right sentence? Sometimes you can have the right word, but the word is in the wrong place. And it changed the whole meaning and the intention of the sentence. See, some of you in life, you are the right word, but you are in the wrong sentence. So you are producing the wrong intention. words that are in your sentence and have the wrong intention. Imagine if we just took some of these words here and just say that things were made without him. Or that without him all things were made. then we change the whole intention. And that's why you gotta discern people that are in your life, are they in the right syntax? Are they in the right order? Are they helping you to express the right intention? Because if they're not, you are displaying the wrong intention because you are in the wrong order. That's why you got to discern whether you are the right person. Am I the right person in your life? Do I belong in your life now or later, or am I a has-been word? Maybe you're a byword, goodbye word. <laughs> 